Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to continue our discussion on LU decomposition. And in this case, we're going to be generating a solutions by generating what is called an A inverse. Now, before I go, jump into this technique, I want to actually recap LU decomposition uh, just quickly. And we know that it's made up of three processes. The first one is the decomposition of A into L and U, right? And we said that U is merely the product of forward elimination. L is just the multipliers or factors that I used uh, with my forward elimination. Now, the second thing that I'm going to do is forward substitution. I'm going to take L with the right-hand side here to get vector D, and then take vector D with U to get our solutions through the process of backward substitution right? So we had decomposition of A into L and U, then forward substitution, then backward substitution. Now, those three processes are going to be involved in at the um, LU by generating A inverse. It's just the technique is slightly different, but you already know uh, all the uh, processes involved in this technique. So what do I mean by that? So the end result of this technique is to create the uh, inverse matrix. And what we're trying to do is we're going to create the first column, then create the second column, then create the third column. So how, how are we going to go about that? Well, the first step is the same as the original LU decomposition. We're going to take A and we're going to decompose it into L and into U. Now here's where, where the change com comes from. In the original LU, we took L combined with the right-hand side B. And in the uh, LU, uh, by generating the A inverse, we're going to take the first column of the identity matrix, which is A00. Okay, so we're going to do four substitution of L with the first column of the identity matrix. And we're going to get this D vector. Then we're going to take this D vector through backward substitution with U and we're going to take some we're going to get something called the K vector and this K vector is going to be our first uh, column. Now we're going to repeat this process again. We're going to take L but this time we're going to take it with the uh, um, middle. A column of the identity matrix, which is basically 0, 1, 0. And we're going to undergo forward substitution, we get D, then take D with U, undergo backward substitution to get M. And this is going to be our second uh, column here. And we're going to repeat the process for the third time. We're going to take L, but in this case, we're going to take it with the third um, column of the identity matrix, which is 0, 0, 1. We're going to get D. Uh, then take this D with U, undergo backward substitution, and get N. And this is going to be our third uh, column here. Given that I have my identity, my uh, um, my A, my inverse A, I multiplied with the right hand side B, and this will get us our solution. So this is the LU decomposition by generating A inverse uh, in a nutshell. So let's actually recap what we've learned. So I'll take A, I'll decompose it into L and U, you already know how to do that, and I'm going to repeat the process of forward substitution and backward substitution three times, right? So the first time, first round I'm going to do this, I'm going to use the first column of the identity matrix, 1, 0, 0. And when I undergo forward substitution, then backward substitution, I'm going to get this vector k, which is the first column. Then the second round of forward substitution, backward substitution, I'm going to use the middle column of the identity matrix, 0, 1, 0. And the product, which is basically um, the m vector, is going to be my middle column here. Uh, the third round of forward substitution, backward substitution, I'm going to then use the 0, 0, 1, or the third column of the identity matrix, and that will get me n. And now I have my uh, full inverse matrix. Um, and then I multiplied with the right-hand side b, and that will give us our uh, solutions. Now, there's something called a test, and the test is if I get my inverse matrix and I multiply it with the original A matrix, that will turn into an identity matrix. And this test says that, okay, this is in fact 
the inverse matrix of this uh, matrix. So this is kind of a test to make sure that this is in fact the inverse matrix of that matrix. So let's go ahead and see what the code will be like. And by looking at this, you can see that the code will be very, very similar to what we did in the previous lesson. So the first thing we create are empty arrays. Here is A and B and L and U. Uh, here is the identity matrix and we see why we're going to be using the identity matrix. Uh, this is D and this is the inverse matrix that we're trying to get and here's our solution so we're going to put it in uh, vector x. So here's uh, the inputting of the data is uh, similar to what we did in the previous lesson. We inputted uh, this part into A, we stored this into U, and then we stored uh, this into B. Okay, uh, this is decomposing matrix A into U, still the uh, L and U, still the same as the previous lesson. So here's where the code becomes uh, different. Uh, we know that we're going to be using uh, the identity matrix, right? We're going to be using the identity matrix uh, three times. In the first round of forward and uh, backward substitution, we're going to use the first column. Second round, we're going to use the um, second column. The third round of forward backward substitution, we're going to use the third column. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the identity matrix. And it's very, very simple. Uh, so we're going to say for i is equal to 1 to 3, because it's made up in this case is three um, columns. And we're going to say when i is equal to j, okay, uh, place 1. Otherwise, place 0. Because we know that this diagonal uh, here, what is characteristic of this diagonal is the i and j are equal to each other. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Um, and we said everything else, any every combination of i and j, put 0. Which means it's going to, uh, whatever's left is going to put 0. So this will create, this code will create an identity matrix. So whatever matrix we created here, ID33 is gonna, this code is gonna give us uh, this kind of data in it. Now we, this is, we, so you know here, this is the forward substitution and backward substitution that you saw in the previous lesson, but we already, we only did this once uh, in the previous LU decomposition. But you can see we're going to do this three times, right? We're going to do forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. The only thing that changes really is this, right? So this is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that's the only thing that changes. So basically we're going to say 4K is equal to 1 to 3, implying that we're going to do those, um, we're going to repeat the forward and substitution three times. And we can see that here, now we're going to be defining this in terms of, uh, instead of a B, we're going to be uh, defining it in terms of the identity matrix, okay? So identity matrix, and we define the row, uh, or sorry, the column here in terms of K. So when K is equal to 1, is going to be uh, doing this forward and backward substitution for 1, 0, 0. And then for the second um iteration uh, where k is equal to 2 is going to go to the 0, 1, 0, and when k is equal to 3 is going to use 0, 0, 1. So this code is identical to um, what we did in the previous lesson. Again, the only difference is here we're not no longer dealing with B, we're dealing with the identity matrix, and this is uh, was put in a uh, three loop because we're repeating this three times. Uh, so after we're done with this, we go into uh, multiplying the inverse of A with B to obtain X, right? So after we have gone through uh, uh, decomposing into L and U, created the identity matrix, done the forward and backward substitution three times, now I have what my inverse uh, matrix is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply it with uh, B. And this is a 3 by 3 multiplied by vector, so it's a very easy multiplication. Um, uh, so what, what this does is we're going to take this, multiplied by this, plus this, multiplied by that, plus this, multiplied by that. Then for, this is going to be our first solution. And then take the second row, this multiplied by that, this multiplied by this, this multiplied by this will give us x2. And finally, we take this multiplied by that, plus this multiplied by that, plus this multiplied by that will give us x3. And you can see this in, in, this, um, in this code here. So when i is equal to 1, we take the first row here. And this is going to be uh, the inverse matrix 1, 1 times B1. So 1, 1 times B1. And this is the inverse matrix 1, 2 times B2. So that's 1, 2 times B2. And this is 1, 3 times B3. 
two one three times b three and you can see it's going to repeat this for the second row and the third row and this is how we get our solutions um, so after we get our solutions we said that uh, we want to undergo a test right so if i take my original a that I inputted up here, and I multiplied with my inverse matrix, right? I should uh, get an identity matrix one one zero and one one uh, along the diagonal, and everything else is zero. So this is a code that we went through before to how to mul multiply two matrices, and in this case, I'm multiplying uh, A and the inverse matrix, and I'm outputting this in these cells. Um, here, just to make sure whether or not it's an identity matrix and whether or not my code is actually uh, generating the inverse matrix or not. Uh, these are also display codes. I'm displaying my uh, solutions here, and I'm also displaying my inverse matrix here, right? Because that's basically what we're doing in this um, in this kind of type of code. We're generating our inverse matrix, and then we're getting our solutions, and we're doing a test. So let's actually go ahead and delete. Uh, these and see if actually the code uh, works properly. So if I run the code, right, I should display in here, 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 what we have here. I should have this K in the first column. I should have this M here. I should have this N here. And I should have 1, 1, 1. And this is the same... Um, um, this is the same systems of equation that we dealt with in the previous lesson. And my test should be here. So if I run the code... Uh, so if you compare this with this and this with this and this with this, you're going to see that they're identical. We have the 111 as our solutions. And you can see here this is uh, 10 to negative 17, 10 to negative 17. So those are all very, very close to zero. So those are zeros. So in fact, this is the inverse matrix of A because after we did multiply them, we got an identity matrix. Now the question here is why is this uh, important? You know, we took a, um, a process here that got us the solutions 111 and we made it ridiculously more complicated and we're still getting the same solutions. And why is it important for us to get the inverse matrix? And the reason it's very very important because the uh, if, for instance, you have a problem that the right-hand side keeps changing, right? You no longer have 11, 4, and 7. You don't have to solve the systems, uh, system of equation all over again as a whole. What you can do is, if you have the inverse matrix, you can just change the right-hand side, multiply it with the inverse matrix, and it will give you the solutions. So there is massive power in having the inverse matrix multiply the right hand side however or uh, change the right hand side however you want and multiply it right away and you'll get your solution so this is one of the reasons uh this technique was developed uh, in uh to generate the a inverse because the a the um the inverse of a is independent of the right hand side so change the right hand side however you want multiply it with the inverse and you always get your solutions um, so to kind of recap briefly, uh, so what we learned in this lesson, we learned how to generate the A inverse using LU decomposition. And again, you take A, decompose it into L and U, and you go through three rounds of forward elimination and backward substitution. The first one with the first column of the identity matrix, the second one with the second column, and the third one with the third column. And when you do that, you get your inverse matrix, you multiply it with the right-hand side, and you get your solutions. Also, in this case, you have to undergo a test to make sure that your calculations are correct. And the test goes as follows. You take your A, multiply it with the inverse, you should get an identity matrix. Uh, well, this marks the end of this lesson, and I will see you in the next lesson.